Did you hear that? I was gonna do like an intro, but that was even better. That was a clapper rail, which is a really hard bird to see, although pretty easy to hear if you're in the right habitat. Um, I'm currently at the Salt Marsh Nature Center in Marine Park, Brooklyn. It's a really beautiful um, marsh habitat. Also a pretty good place to get away from people. I had been going to Prospect Park, but it's really crowded. So I was looking for slightly, um, slightly less popular destinations. And uh, this is one of my favorites. It's just a beautifully restored um, salt marsh habitat. And if you build it, they will come. And once they restored this area, um, this is in Marine Park, as I mentioned. It used to be full of uh, garbage and junked cars and um, it was restored back around uh, 2000, maybe. So about 20 years ago now. Um, and I've already seen osprey today carrying fish. There's red-winged blackbirds out here uh, singing in the marsh and clapper rails, which require fairly, um, fairly uh, pristine, salt marsh habitat so that's that's how you know it's uh, in pretty good shape so i found a pretty cool plant here at the salt marsh nature center which is behind me here it's a species of cockleburr i don't know which one exactly i think they're in the genus xantium or something like that um they're named cockleburr for these spiny seed pods and their seeds are actually um, toxic. And they were a favorite food of um, the only native parrot that lived in um, Eastern North America, the Carolina parakeet, which unfortunately went extinct. It was hunted to extinction in the early 20th century. I think the last one died out around 1915 or something like that. They were this beautiful little parrot, green and orange and yellow. And some people think that the orange and yellow coloring was what's known as aposomatic coloration. Aposomatic coloration is warning coloration, like the black and orange of a monarch butterfly, which is um, poisonous to eat, to ingest. So don't eat a monarch butterfly. Um, or another famous example is a coral snake, which is bright uh, yellow and red and black and that is a uh, venomous species. People often call venomous snakes poisonous, but poisonous means if you eat it uh, like a poisonous mushroom. Venomous is if it bites you uh, like a venomous snake. So there might be a poisonous snake out there that's actually poisonous. I think there is, if you eat it, but the coral snake is not. It is a venomous snake. Anyway, I digress. Oh right, the Carolina parakeet. So the Carolina parakeet has these bold colors, red, orange, many birds do though. Um, but there's some anecdotal evidence that it gained toxicity from eating these cockleburr seeds, which as I mentioned, are poisonous. Um, John James Audubon, the great uh, early American bird painter and ornithologist, um, he noted that a cat tried to eat a Carolina parakeet and the cat died. So there's a few examples like that that suggest that maybe the parakeet could actually um, sequester the toxins from the cockleburr seeds in their feathers. So kind of cool to find a cockleburr growing here. They like sandy soil and that's definitely what we have here since we're right by the right by the bay